and he like be my peace he say baby just be my peace he like be my peace he say baby just be my peace tell him i got what they need i got what they need look be my peace he like baby just be my peace what's up too much squad too much gang 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 bitch anyways we back with another video before we continue with the video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you very much if you're watching this right now yeah we starting off the vlog like this but it's okay because i'm about to fix it fix it period i'm gonna be wand curling my hair i'm first i just bought a new wand curler but guess where the fuck I got it from, bitch? Draws, ho. Yeah. Yeah. $11.99. Thank you very much. Pretty poo. This video is also going to be a TED Talk while I'm doing my hair. So, basically a TED Talk about growing up. Because it's a lot of shit that you go through when you grow up that motherfuckers will never understand. Guess what? I am here for that. I'm here to help you the fuck out. <laughs> Period. I'm back y'all so um basically let's get into this video if you were the type of person who feel as though you want to be grown and you want to do stuff on your own or you capable of doing stuff on your own like me for a long time well since i was about 16 i'm 19 now i've been doing shit for myself since i had a job i've been doing everything that i have to do for myself so my back my bad. Man, first step is having a plan. I don't know exactly what my future holds, but I know that it's bright. Like, I know I'm gonna be something, somebody, somewhere, you know what I mean? Y'all like my curls? I did it myself. Curls for the girls. I know that I'm not gonna be sitting at home for the rest of my life. That's all I know. When you this age, like going on 16, 17, 18, you should start working on yourself. Working on what you want to do. Not necessarily knowing exactly what you want to do, but having an idea type shit. I swear when you get out of high school, your fucking future smack in your face. And you be like, what the fuck? That shit was just easy. You see how much shit that you got to deal with on your own. Especially if you don't have no mommy and daddy money because I definitely don't have no mommy and daddy money. <laughs> I got a little toy money, period. <laughs> Watch the people who you hang around. Everybody don't have your best interest at heart. And you gonna end up getting your little ass hurt. Avoid that shit if you can. Uh, you know, keep your circle small. The people that you fuck with, the people you know that fuck with you. The people that you know that you could depend on. Hang around them people. The people who got positive vibes and want you to do good. And they won't be trying to distract you or be telling you, oh, call off work. Cause you think that shit okay right then. Then when the motherfucker turn around, oh, you ask them to call off work. Oh, bitch, no, I got work. You, what you doing today? I got work. That's what the fuck they gonna say to you. Don't, don't let nobody mess up your money. Like right now, I'm in a predicament where I am fighting for my job because I decided to walk out yesterday. And it's because I feel that though my manager is really disrespectful. I ain't gonna say his name or nothing like that. But he was really disrespectful to me. I feel like the, but one of my customers decided he wanted to leave because the dishwasher thought he was finished eating. So the dishwasher threw his food, I mean his water, his fucking water in the trash. This nigga food in my hand about to come out. And his ass talking about some. Tell them cancel the whole thing, man. They threw my stuff away. Threw your water away, baby. You want another one? Water, sink water, dish water, what, 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 what? So I was just like thrown off off that shit, but my manager, I asked him to void the journal off because I already knew people was gonna give me some motherfucking problems when the fuck it was time for me to ask for the food. Go to check. I'm like, okay. She forgot about it. I'm like, damn, I do gotta go in the kitchen to ask somebody to make this food type shit. It was giving me attitude, so I'm like, all right, bad, fuck it. Tomorrow I'm gonna get tatted, y'all. Make sure y'all. Check out this vlog and the one that I'm posting tomorrow. I'm getting a whole thigh set. Shit going right up my butt and to my knee, hopefully. Hopefully that's what I plan for. Necessary sacrifices is another thing. It's some shit that you're gonna have to say, damn, I don't need this right now. You got priorities type shit. Oh, I gotta pay my motherfucking bills. Why the fuck? I'm, 
I'm gonna have to skip out on that party or whatever. And you're gonna hate that shit. Oh, and that shit suck. I be working every motherfucking day almost. I got two days off a week and it's the weekdays. Like, what the fuck am I doing the weekdays? It's gonna be sometimes that you can't do everything you wanna do, but you're gonna have to say fuck that shit because you grinding, period. Setting goals. I got me a little money to the side. I'm trying to save because I'm trying to get me a car. I'm trying to eventually get me an apartment. I'm trying to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> And I know that if I work on that shit that I can get whatever the fuck I want because I'm doing it myself. Nobody can not tell you no if you gonna grind and do that shit yourself. It's shit you can do out here. Motherfucking DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats and shit. Like, come on. It's money out here. It's money out here. And people are sleeping on that money. <laughs> I want all that. You feel me? No matter having a budget, you got a job. Or if you know you don't got no income coming in like that. You better save a certain amount of money, at least like me. I get paid every two weeks, so I know I get paid the tips every motherfucking day. So I can at least put some money aside so that I'm going to be straight. Give myself a limit for the day or what I'm going to go spend that day, you know what I'm saying? So if you go over that, then bitch, you're fucked. Because you, you broke, technically, even though you got, you can have a million dollars, bitch. If that's your budget and you're trying to make some more money, you're broke. Period. Period. It's hard. It's really hard for me. That shit hard as shit for me because I, I buy shit every motherfucking day. Nobody buys me nothing. Down to the food I eat. Nothing. Nothing. To my drawers, baby. Nothing. This, I spend money all the time. And if I can help it, I'm going to save that little bit of money. You know, give me a motherfucking budget. So I don't spend all my money. Save that shit and I'll be good. Be, being independent. I don't do nothing for me. I take care of myself. And I'm the type of person who, who I've been getting that shit since I was 16. I've been grinding out here. I just got support when I was motherfucking 16, bitch. Unless, nobody can't tell me what to say unless you got a better option for me, period. Nobody can't boss me around because if you're not putting no money in my pocket or you're not helping me get to where I need to be, I need you to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, baby. Shut up. <laughs> fuck are you talking about? I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. Just be talking about the side of their motherfucking neck. And they want you to just be tripping off the shit that they say. Oh my God, who the fuck are you, Martin Luther King? They like, be trying to tell you what to do. And like, they don't even be having their shit together. I know motherfuckers that's like motherfucking 35, 45, 50 don't have their motherfucking shit together. But all up in your motherfucking mix trying to tell you, oh my God, you're young, you're doing this. I'm young and I'm doing shit better than you. Like, sitting on your motherfucking ass. I know right now I probably do work at IHOP. I really don't work at IHOP. But I know I'm getting some motherfucking income and I know I'm straight at the end of the day because all my shit is paid and nobody ain't paying it for me but me. Hello? Moving smart. Sometimes you might have to stay out the way. Sometimes you might have to watch the people you hang around because they might end up setting your ass the fuck up. Watch the, the your circle. I, that's what I mean by that shit. Like, uh, people be getting themselves all up in the mix. Me, I don't have, be having no issues because I don't be arguing with nobody. Look, we're not even in school no more. How the fuck do you be arguing with a bitch? How the fuck? I don't even see bitches enough to be arguing with them. Bitch, you don't even know me for real. How, oh, how the fuck? Why is y'all being so messed by gonna check me about nothing and if a bitch thinks she is? Hello, I'm right here. I, my DMs is always open and my page is public. Yeah, yeah, that's how I'm moving. Don't play yourself. Like, if you is the type of person who's solid and hustle or giving a hundred percent and a motherfucker ain't giving you a hundred percent fuck them worry about your motherfucking self to fucking give an extra mile when the motherfucker ain't giving you half and they don't even give a fuck about you for real don't motherfucking worry about what nobody say here and be dwelling on what the next bitch doing or what that nigga doing i don't give a fuck how much money a nigga got i don't give a fuck what a bitch doing nine times out of ten there's a lot of bitches out here selling their motherfucking ass shit like motherfuckers is getting that shit how they getting it i ain't envious of nobody no i'm gonna get that shit one way or another the next bitch ain't put no money in my motherfucking pocket so uh sorry sis i don't give a fuck about you bro it's not even giving last thing i'm gonna say is stay away from the mess Let's get older Don't have your best interest at heart. Don't be pressed for no motherfucking body at all.
don't be geeking over no motherfucker by who the fuck is these people to be geeked over i ain't saying i'm somebody but bitch when you worried about me you making me think i'm somebody that's what these bitches don't understand it's all in your motherfucking business bitch since you watching i'm gonna give you a motherfucking show like uh there you go fuck you talking about Whew. but y'all I ain't angry or nothing. That's just the way I talk when I get real interested in something. And people be like, oh my God, you should be a public speaker. That could happen for me. That could be in my future. Or I could be doing some action shit. There's possibilities for me, you know? It's only up from here. It's only up. Yeah. I need to be posting more videos on my channel. So, it's not good about the TED Talk. I ain't saying I'm perfect and I got my shit together, but I do got my head on straight. I think people will benefit from listening to me because i do be making a lot of sense all the sense yeah so speaking of all the sense y'all want to hear something funny one day i'm at, uh walking to the bus stop or whatever and there's this boy at the gas station he like hey 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 first me and my first started my own business it's called all the sense he got some in the box box bitch why is the um motherfucking the freshness from dollar tree or bowls that um that smell good oh my fucking god this nigga talking about he started his own business called all the sense you thought you had all the sense when you bought that shit out the store <laughs> You played yourself. That's what I mean by yeah, motherfuckers be playing themselves. You played yourself with you thought I was about to buy that shit. He didn't want me to buy that shit. He wanted my number. But he was ugly as shit and he thought he had all the sense. I play it. It definitely wasn't given. That's it. I'm wrapping up this video. But um, since we at the end, before you go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hey, too much squad, too much gang, gang, gang. Like I say, I'm doing a vlog tomorrow. Make sure y'all check that shit out, period. Uh, and yeah, keep it cute, bitches. Peace. Y'all, I'm about to get tatted. And I'm gonna see you got crying. Cause they say it's gonna hurt. Lina. Make sure y'all pull up the Alton Mall if you live in DV and come get tatted. Hey, hey, hey. My bitch, bubba with me. Hey, 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 hey. But y'all, I need to get tatted. I need to get tatted. I can't fit the camera, so. Yeah, but y'all gonna see in a little bit. This some painful shit. Bitch, wanna be grown, get a fucking tattoo, bitch. Now look at you. Now look at you. <laughs>